So we're trying to edify you. So what do you what do you know of the Kaaba? You know the history of the Kaaba? So why are you asking us? You don't know the Kaaba, but yet you're asking us about Farrakhan. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just give you a little brief synopsis on the Kaaba. So if you go back in history. The Kaaba was originally a building, a place for our forefathers to worship, worship in. So it was called the Kaaba. It was just a building. And later in life history they come up with the stone some meteor that fell so they merged um, paganism idol idolatry with an actual um, event so it's all idolatry when it comes down to it but the Kaaba was just a building and later they incorporated the stone then they incorporated as a brother was sitting the Hodges uh, and they it, it, what's that one we said about wood wood and stone can you read that again and the Lord, uh, the, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Now they, over it, they, they begin to worship that, okay? Now that's why you see the stone in a square box. It was actually a square building. It had a certain amount of dimensions. And that's this right. was done by Abraham, our forefather. That's, that's right. how far that history goes back. Right. Okay? And we're not, we only got a little time, but it's a, it's a broad subject, and it'll take some time to go into to get. Louis Farrakhan, give me Jeremiah, uh, uh, trust me, Norman. 15, 7. Louis Farrakhan, what do we think of? We, Farrakhan, he, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's trying to unite our people, okay? Uh, but like any great activist, he, what does he do? He goes right back to the Bible. All those men return right back to the Bible. But Farrakhan doesn't keep any law, statutes, and commandments. He doesn't keep the laws of God. Does he have a beard? Does he wear fringes? Does he know his nationality? Teacher! Right. He doesn't know yet. Because you got a beard, don't really make you keep the law of God. Just because you got but a beard, it's, it's part of it. It's the commandment it's of God. So don't, don't, don't the Muslims, don't the Muslims keep? Uh, don't they got beards? Those, those true Shiites, yes, they do. The true Shiites and Sunni Muslims have beards. I've been there, brother. I've been, I've been years there. I'm not talking about over there. I'm talking about, talking about the real Muslims. I'm not talking. So these are, these are. These are Generic muscles. Man, 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 man. Man. Right. You start right. talking negative about the another book black of man. Jeremiah chapter that 17 and verse 5. Because the black man is doing so good, but I'm out. gone. Check this out. Join it. How many million men are you? Question to you. shouldn't you. talk Question. negative about another black man that's striving to do right. Did I just say that's I, hypocritical. Did I, call, did I say negative? I just said, yeah, you, you just said, I said he wasn't keeping any commandments. All right. He had two or three million men marches. What has they accomplished? Zero. Talk Two or three the million, million man marches. Have they come together? No. Teach, y'all. All right, bring it out. Let's let that go. Okay, so watch this. Read, the, read this real quick. Bring it out, man. This is, hey, and this is, this is the very reason why our people are destroyed, man. Teach, Our people don't want to hear the truth. The right. truth is supposed to make you free. Right. That's what? Again, our people are comfortable with bondage. That's right. That's right. Spiritual bondage. Our people are comfortable with that thing. Read that. Wallace D. Ford. So hey. we put the... So we're going to read who Wallace D. Ford is. Since we want to know about um, 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 Louis Farrakhan, let's, let's find out. Read. Wallace D. Ford, a.k.a. Wallace Ford Muhammad, was a co-founder of the Nation of Islam. He was what? A co-founder of the Nation of Islam. So what? William D. Ford was the co-founder of the Nation of Islam. So he didn't want to know about the true Arabs, the true uh, uh, followers of Islam, he wanted to know about the brothers that was following that Islamic religion, the nation of Islam. That's right. A so-called white man found the nation of Islam. That's right. Read. He arrived in Detroit in 1930 uh -huh. with an obscure background and several aliases. Read. And taught a distinctive form of Islam to members of the city's African-American population. Right. Read. He disappeared in 1934. So understand this. 
a so-called white man founded the nation of Islam. That's, that's, right. Right. that's who, uh, that's who uh, Elijah Muhammad and his teachers follow, a so-called Caucasian. Teacher! Right. You understand that? Bring so, it up! Again, our people, our pe let's find out about Islam and where Islam come from. Read. This is the ba uh, from Babylon Timbuktu, written by Rudolph A. Windsor. So he was a historic, a brother that went and did his, uh, found historical records and found out where all these, these, these uh, re false religions that our brothers and our sisters are getting themselves into, found out the origins of them things. And he's bringing it out in the book. Read that. Read Page 48 uh -huh. reads, the prophet Muhammad, the, the false prophet Muhammad, That's right. adopted many principles uh -huh. and laws from the Jewish religion. From where? From the Jewish religion. So he found he founded Islam based on our historical records, That's based right. on the laws that was given to the nation of Israel. That's, right. That's why when you read the Quran, they always revert back to the Bible. They right. always revert back to our forefathers about the Israelites being That's God's chosen right. people. Watch this. Oh, give me that Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Watch. Bring it up! Of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Read. Yeah. But it shall come to pass. It's going to happen. We see this today. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake so thee. So God said he was going to put curses upon us for not obeying him, not following his law, statutes, and his commandments. You understand that? And one of those curses was this. Read that again verse 64. Verse 64. So this is the curse that was put up on the children of Israel. Let's see if that curse still exists today. Let's see if that's still happening right now. Bring it out. Bring it out. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Uh-huh. From the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. From Saudi Arabia, from Mecca. Mecca was a slave port. That's right. You understand? From one end of the earth to the other. Over here in the east coast of America, Virginia, those were slave ports. So it's the exact same thing, read. And there, wherever we're, where, where we're scattered at, by the Most High, read. Thou shalt serve other gods. We're going to serve other gods. That's a curse. That's, That's right. right. We're going to yeah. serve Caesar Borgia as Christ. Read we're going to serve... We're going to serve uh, 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 the cobblestone and so on and so forth. Idol gods, read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. Right, so how do we get How do we uh, uh, get out of these curses? How do we stop following these idol gods, all this wood and stone? How do we do that thing? Give me that um, in um, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Actually, actually, hold that. Give me 1 Kings 8. Bring it out. Give me 1 Kings 8, 46. Watch this. Because, brother, you know you were an Israelite? I know a little bit more. A lot more. I'm just listening because I like to hear you guys. So, 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 the question was, you, you know you were an Israelite? Uh, my descendants be far in California. I'm the descendants of uh, Queen Khalifa. Our descendants lay here. We own California, Hawaii, and Australia. Okay, so... Right, okay, so, so you from the, you from Kushite the Kingdom. Kingdom. Which tribe, which tribe you from? That would be the Kushite Kingdom. That would be, um... Judah. Yeah, Judah. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, Levi. 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 So, so you from the tribe of Levi. So you come from the Levitical priesthood. That's who your forefathers and them is, right? Okay. All praise to the Most High. So you understanding that you are Israel from the tribe of Levi. Yeah. You understand? You were, you were the, you were a Jew according to the Bible. But get that real quick. Well, the book, uh, the book of First Kings, chapter eight and verse forty-six. Read. If they sin against thee, right? Because our people are still in sin right now today. That's right. right. You understand? But what did what did what did uh, David say? For there is no man that sinneth not. So if we sin against God because none of us have been without sin. Read. That thou be angry with them, uh huh, and deliver them to the enemy, uh huh, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of their enemy. So that's saying the same thing it said in Deuteronomy 28 and 64 that we'd be scattered among all nations. Right. You understand? But if, why? Because God's angry with us, read. Far or near. Far from the from the one side of the earth even to the other. Read. Yet, yet, but if they shall be think themselves. If we remember who we are, read. In the land whither they were carried captive. That means right here in America. You understand? If we remember who we are right here in the land where we carry captives and do what? 
and repent and repent and say, I'm no longer African American. I'm no longer a Negro. I'm no longer a nigger. Right. You understand? I'm no longer Mexican, but I am an Israelite. That's and good. And I want to come back to your laws, that's your commandments. That's repentance. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.